This is weird. <laughs> I remember sitting down to play Ocarina of Time and being like, I'll never get through all these games. I'll be playing Zelda for the rest of my life. Jeez. But here we are. <laughs> On the maybe. Gr granted, granted. Maybe the last episode. Maybe. Um, it's not a for sure thing. I feel like I could finish the game tonight. If I sort of just like ignored anything else. I don't necessarily want to do that. Although to be fair, I'm still having a really good time with the game. But I, I'm getting that feeling of being ready to sort of bookend this, you know? To, to, to sort of like wrap this up, see how this all plays out. Um, not to say that I'm not, again, I'm thoroughly enjoying the game, but that's kind of like when you want to finish something, right? When you're still, I'd, I would rather finish the game still feeling great about it than go out of my way, try to do everything and slowly start to feel like risk the, risk the fatigue. Um... Last time we confronted Phantom Ganon, at least. Huh? Spo oh, spoiler alert, who could have guessed Zelda in modern day wasn't actually Zelda, it was just a puppet. Oh no, who wouldn't? <laughs> How could this possibly have been? Um, and then, well, I, the, the, actu the actual real uh, twist of fate, I think, was the fact that we got another sage and it was Minero. <laughs> she was the sage of spirit, now we have a giant robot. That I think it just is just with us all the time, just like everybody else. Yeah, we can just dismiss it like everybody else. That's crazy. That's actually ridiculous. Man, it's crazy how many things I feel like st I still haven't done in this game. I still haven't like fully built a house. There's probably more side quests to do. Well, maybe no, not probably more. Surely there are a million more side quests to do. I don't, like, I, Addison's still sitting around out there somewhere, 100%. <clears throat> um, definitely haven't gotten anywhere near all the Korok seeds. How many Korok seeds do I have? 30, not 38, no, I have way more than that. Um, I don't think, I don't know if there's an easy way to check how many you have in total. Except on the uh, the load menus, um, don't don't have all the sage orbs, don't have all the shrines. Obviously, we're still missing a lot of health. And yet, I mean, I feel like I've done the amount of stuff I would do, I would have done in any of the Zelda game before going to finish it. It's just weird. And you know what? I mean, the thing is, it'll always still it'll still be here. I can always still pick it back up, do whatever I want in it. Maybe go for 100% afterwards, right? But I think for now... For now, we make our way to whatever the heck an ending is. And see, I say that, now watch. The next six hours, the next five or six hours are gonna be <laughs> a bunch of nonsense. Uh -huh. We're gonna, like, barely get there. Tell me what you wanted to... Yeah, so we're supposed to talk to Jasha about where Phantom Ganon might be, but she's still just talking about these statues. Lanewa to the east. Chasms in Lanewa wetlands north of Kakargo village. <laughs> oh! Uh, I'm still talking about looking for Princess Zelda. It's crazy. It's crazy. How much stuff do we need to see? How many cutscenes do we need to see? How many flashbacks? How many... How much quests... How many quests do we need to do before everybody's on the same page about the fact that Princess Zelda is not here? <laughs> for the love of everything. Here. This chasm? All right, Josh, if you say so. I guess we're just going to go to the depths. I mean, I'll try to go get all the old maps that are along the way to this. I mean, it looks like it looks like we might just be... What if we're just stuck in a hole? 
for the for like all night. <laughs> Would that be the worst thing to happen? Being stuck in the hole all night? Oh. Still has the cannon. Oh, cool. So, oh. Oh, wait, no, not not a spirit form. Just the actual mech. Just with us the whole time? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> wait. But that's crazy. Look at this squad. We just get to roll around with a giant robot? That's actually crazy. It's crazy not only that they put this in the game, along with all the other sages and stuff like that, it's crazy that they they snuck this in basically at the end. Because we're basically at the end. <laughs> Granted, I guess tec technically, of course, you could have wandered over here, done all this stuff before. The only thing stopping you was how many hearts you had, and you only needed, like, a little bit over 10, I think? So, honestly, honestly, pretty doable. Huh? Alright, well. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I, I am glad that it's like the actual robot. And not like some some spirit form for it. If I spend all that time making the thing, I wanna, you know. Oh, yeah, statue. I do like how weird and how creepy all the statues look, opposed to the actual races as we know them. Four hundred arrows? Possible. Oh right, I still have a lizard tail on my master's foot. That's pretty good. long master sword that can freeze and crit people like that's kind of it's kind of sick it's kind of a great combo it's like a good throwaway weapon just for cracking stuff open eh. kind of this I'm going to- I'm going to be doing that a lot. I'm going to be summoning water shields, I'm going to be launching Yanobu. I'm going to be jumping on a robot. I do like that the robot is like on autopilot too. Like you don't have to... be controlling it the whole time. I appreciate that. Oh, she has her own portrait. Oh, that's cool. Is this faster than running on the ground? Maybe it is. It doesn't necessarily... It doesn't evoke a feeling of, of maximum speed to me, I'm gonna be honest, but... Have I followed these statues all the way to their... endpoint? Might have. Gosh, the little tiny baby sprint is so funny. I 
lot of other devices though. I'm kind of curious, like, what the rest of them might do. What if I attach wings to it? If I attach a glider to it, can it fly? Surely not. But maybe. This would be the time to, this would be the time to test it out. Well, um, 69 glides. <gasps> it does kind of work, sort of. What about the wheel? Can I hop on it? Can I hop on this like a skateboard? Can I just put a time bomb on my back and kill myself? Sounds pretty cool. It's give me, give me ideas. What if I? Sure. I put a big wheel on my back. <laughs> I just don't know, like, what the point is. Uh, can I put things on the wheel? No, I can't. I can't touch it up or anything. Well, maybe he'll do something with the wheel. Did I one shot that guy? Surely I didn't one shot that guy. Oh, maybe it's just, just blue problems. Tossed around. I wish I could jump. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. And most of these probably don't have a purpose. Kind of smash anything with anything. <laughs> okay, what else can we screw around with? Well, no, that's not going to do anything on its own. Nope, just 
just a wheel. <laughs> just a wheel in my hand. Right, that just lets me float down, which is essentially what the glider does, all things considered. So that won't do anything. That definitely won't do anything. I mean, I'm... I'm just so curious. <laughs> this is a real call to the abyss moment. Hold on. Nope. Okay, good to know. I just have a bomb strapped to my back. Now it's fine. Oh, getting back to a dark bit. Hey, Kane, how's it going? Ow. Damage damages. So I guess that's a way to like sort of balance it, because otherwise yep. you could just ride the robot forever and it, it doesn't die. So look, you're such a large target though. So many teeth. I literally, I literally take all the teeth he has. The poor guy. Again, I will say, I think the thing I'm most... most excited about... is, uh... is probably... Again, I'm... I want to know... <laughs> What a Zelda game looks like after this game. Really badly. Cause like... How? You know? Like I don't know... I don't know what you do. I don't know how... I don't know what they're gonna do. Do they just make another open world game? I almost feel like... I can't imagine them doing that. Are they gonna lean into this like... Weird creative... Like... Player as a creative? direction and give you more options to customize and build more things. I think that would be kind of weird. I kind of don't want 
3D Zelda to just become like like a sandbox. Again, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts is a really apt name. It's a really apt uh, comparison, to be fair. Right, these lead to these. Oh, it's it's the shark guy. Alright. Oh, but the statues keep going past this. Well, alright, let's freaking kill this guy. Doesn't even get an intro. Screw you, Muktorok. Um... Uh, man, Sion. I think I had to hit him with the water, right? Pretty sure. should use something stronger than this. I'm wet? Why am I wet? I won't ask questions. That actually worked. Phase two. Oh right, I forgot how much of a nightmare this was. I wonder what he's gonna drop, because it the boss enemies drop parts too. Kinda curious about that. Oh really? Something that swings faster, I suppose. I'll go further too, I suppose. Oh, breaking point. What? Did I use this weapon at all? And it's already at its breaking point? 108. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> Dang it, it shreds things. Too far, there's too much muck. It's like his whole thing. Oh, there we go. Nope, nope, didn't work. I guess it just dissuades him. Shield didn't block it, it still doesn't hit it from that? That's crazy. We can Splatoon enemy. Oh, 
It's just annoying. This boss isn't difficult, it's just... It's kind of annoying. I don't know. I... All of my weapons are breaking. Well, specifically all my swords. Oh, I stopped him again this moment he spawned back. That's awesome. There we go. Jeez. With that, I'm going to crack open my Mountain Dew Baja Blast. The most fitting Mountain Dew for the end of a Zelda run. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, he just dropped some balloons? He just drops a bunch of Octorok pilots? Oh, he's so lame. He's the lamest one. I got freaking like jaw bones and stuff off some of these other guys. Where does an Octorok tentacle even rank? What does it even do? Acidic for cooking? <laughs> Three fuse power? Wow. Well, I mean, I guess the eyeballs. Put them on your arrows. Track people. Yo! Nice. I have a lot of those. How'd I get so many of those? I should probably do something with them. Well, the statues haven't ended. So I guess we're still checking along? so we can get back. So dark here. <laughs> it's just a level one. Level two. I've already oh, I've already killed this. Oh.
still one of the funniest discoveries. Forgot where do you turn in the ba oh you turn them in the there's the constructs on the surface. That's what you turn the batteries from. Or the crystallized cores or whatever. Well neat. It's like a tunnel here. Gosh, this place is still kind of unsettling sometimes. Depends on the area. again. After the depths of chasms. After the upheaval, many chasms appeared across Hyrule. After when navigating the depths proves too treacherous, try leaving and returning through a different chasm. To fully conquer the depths, we must find every entrance. Unfortunately, locating chasms is not always straightforward. It's rumored, for instance, that a chasm has somehow opened inside of a cave. Surely this is not the only concealed entrance. There must even be holes that do not seem to be chasms at first glance. What? Have you ran into anything like that? I think finding chasms in a cave, surely I've done that at least. <coughs> <coughs> I've found some pretty small chasms on the map, some like very like narrow ones. Take out the gloom that leaks from these pits acts as a beacon. Most can be seen from above. Yeah, like, uh... Yeah, this Tingle Island had a very, very tiny little chasm. Which was fun. That was a fun spot. I never went into this one? Guess not. There's something all the way at the end of this? I never went to the end of this? Oh, and I must have been here and then it opened that up. Weird. Huh. The map is so almost filled out. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh, we are in Zoa's domain now, huh? This should be... Well, most of this should be really hard to traverse, right? It should be really high up or something. Hey there, bud. What am I doing wrong? Maybe my angle's off. Nah, it's still not working. <laughs> How long have you been there? Eh, five minutes. Like I said before, my plan has changed. We already mined up everything there is to mine around here. You know. <laughs> I was killing time. For Pete's sake. So yeah, you get it anyway. I can't believe you followed me 
to another mind, persistent little pest. Honor of a long-awaited reunion, I graciously allowed you to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. But right now, you're the last thing on my mind. Because the end is nigh. Oh. We having a boat fight? Boat fight. I almost thought he just like wasn't gonna fight me at all. Ah. Ow. Oh yeah, you know what attack is uh I got them. Oh, I can't believe how much that launched me. Do I get the big boat now? Spawning boats. The the game it can't take it, Master Koga. The memory. Inobu. That's sick. Oh, my, my shoulder specifically. You hurt my specifically my shoulder. The steering stick got wet, so my hand slipped. Oh, do you think of all the crystallized charges this place had to offer? And there's more. I just got word from my underlings. That they've located the man himself. Oh. Wait, that's actually not good. Just one more step. One teeny little step until the Yiga clan's long-standing desire comes to fruition. Mm. We have more than enough crystallized charges now. Are they gonna try to revive him with the charges? There's only one more band in mind as ransack. Mm. Hear me now, Link. Time to start the final excavation. The northwestern abandoned mine awaits. Ultimate weapon offered to the Demon King. Is it gonna be some giant janky looking mech? Oh, I can't wait. The song, the remix of the song, it got like deeper, like grumblier. Honestly, real talk, that <laughs> that was pretty. That, that felt pretty sinister. <laughs> the Heba mine, okay. But there were few chasms in Heba by, by which to reach it. The path stretched from Hyrule Ridge. Oh, the path stretching from Hyrule Ridge. That was previously used is no longer a viable route. Though I recall there being a chasm somewhere that connects directly to the abandoned mine. There was one other thing before you resume your journey. Schema stones. Gotcha. Oh. Interesting. So it's somewhere that... There's a direct connection, but that might be the only connection. Noted. Okay.
going to make? Bolt boat. Oh, it like shoots a laser. Interesting. started making it and then just gave up. This is just zap the water? Oh. oh there's evil hot drops here. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I could get some more. Why not? Cool. I mean, when in Rome. Then let's light this up so I can actually see this on the map. I'm still confused about what the layout of this place actually is. Does that make sense in relation to the surface world? Or well, the surface map? The actual domain part, but this is a low point, which means that down here it should be high and blocked off. I suppose for the most part it is. I guess they took some liberties in some places. They didn't just make it a, an, an exact inverse, I suppose. Well, interesting. Oh, I forgot there's still a thing to do with the Typhlo Ruins now, because we did everything. Should probably go back and do that? Last location, um... Hmm. I'm really curious what the heck would be at the very end of this little point here. Is there a place that's like close-ish? The spirit temple is close. Well, fine. All right, we're taking a we're taking a side excursion. Oh, 
Oh, 309 coax seeds. Which I feel like isn't anything to scoff at. I can't, believe, I can't believe Spirit Temple had a even deeper hole going down. It didn't feel faster, but it but it's certainly it's certainly faster than than a light jog. No fall damage. How much damage can I accrue? Because that's the thing about this. Do attack up. And then on top of that, I can do. A lot of damage. I'll take a giant boomerang. That's a good find. Well, that's a good find, yeah. So I'm having trouble. So the trouble I'm having is I keep running into spots of water. I'm gonna have the sur. I actually actually having the surface map up right now. Might actually be useful. Oh, it's 
so far away. Not right now. Cut through again. Not ev not everything is one for one opposite from the from the surface, but it's at least a guide. Robot definitely makes it easier to traverse some of this, or a lot of this. So it's running out of energy already? Dang. Sheesh, this is pretty tall. But it's not endless. It's just really tall. Uh, uh yeah, I'm trying to take a shortcut. Please help me get some lift. a perfectly good foothold. <laughs> this isn't as good of a uh shortcut as I was thinking it would be. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay. Careening into the abyss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, of course. What am I looking at? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sure, okay. Do this trick because this trick is awesome. Nice. <sighs> and like with all vehicle use in this game, you get to use something for two seconds and then it freaking dies. <laughs> it hits a wall and then immediately becomes completely immobile. in the back. Can it carry me across the water? Maybe. No, it's leaning too far on one side. Well, that was short-lived. Ancient observation deck? observation of what? They really, you know, honestly, as much as it would have been um, awful and terrifying and I wouldn't have wanted it if it happened, they, uh, they should have put... Oh, hello? <laughs> Link? They should have put things in the water. They should have put terrifying, awful things in the water. Even if, even if they were, like, non-hostile things. You should have just put like like eyes in the water, or or like figures standing at the bottom of it or something. I don't even like saying that. Like like the the words frighten me as they leave my mouth. But yet I wish they had done that. Oh crap! Excuse me. Just uh, another abandoned structure of sorts, I guess? That's not it. Yeah, I was about to say the exit didn't disappear. I was like, that's totally not the thing that's here. Yeah, 
Here we go. So that was hard to see. Jeez. Cap of the hero. Simple cap. Something about it that's just so appealing. That's the um, OG set, I think. Hero of ancient times, yeah. I like that. It's a good look. Kinda suits this link, honestly. Ain't half bad. <laughs> oh. oh well. Okay, so there's that. Now we need to try to go here. Which we will be able to do. We just gotta go around. Oh, there's, yeah, there's a lot of souls hanging around this stuff. Not like there would be, um... There's a light route somewhere around here, like nearby or something? There's a shrine over here. So maybe a light route. Try to go get that first. Make our lives a little bit easier. Oh wow, ooh. 30 damage as a starting base, really? Des Desperate Strength isn't a great ability, because by the time you get to this point in the game, you have this much health. In order to get Desperate Strength, you have to be knocked down to like, one heart, I think? Even trying to do that intentionally, it would, it would be, it would be kind of difficult. But I'll slap a Heriblin horn on it. That's pretty cool. This is low, which means I'm gonna have to climb pretty down high. Trying to get up to the light boot it is anyways. Hup! 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 
Laralyn mine? You're bad, I know you're bad. Pete's sake. Oh. <laughs> you're not. You're an evil, oh. evil man. Oh, yeah, all of them at the abandoned mines have been, have been talking about the crystallized cores, huh? Hmm? Oh. Hmm? to carry medicinal herb with Sunderland depths more than shown them fall in the sky chip to the surface the wish they weren't so bitter if only there was such a thing as a sun banana a sun anna maybe <laughs> no okay no that was worth that was worth reading 100 percent jeez been asking this, these guys the same question all game. He just doesn't learn anything. Is there usually another one to give you a schema stone at these places? Hope <laughs> they got a lot of sunlight at this one. He's got a little pod. Is that where you sleep? It's like doghouse sized, my dude. You gotta make a better house. Nice. Divisible? Guess just a like a e an even floating platform. Don't have to worry about like the weight getting tipped off. <laughs> kind of funny. Wait, what's the point of the what's the point of the torches? <laughs> it did it can't it comes with flamethrowers, you don't need the torches. I guess you could shut the flamethrowers off to save power and then the torches will stay lit. Oh, and you slow down a lot too, which could actually be useful. Okay, game. I understand. Ooh. Let's put him up here. 
crud. Uh, do they normally get put like a chest around? <laughs> after after you test out their schematics. I didn't even know. I am a fool. Oh. Oh, crimey. They really hide these. Some of these I feel like you need to have the adjacent, uh... Or you, you need to have the, um... The shrine on the surface to be able to locate them. They're really tucked away. This one isn't that far. Literally just fly a straight line this way. They're all accurate. Oh, if all the light boots have an adjacent shrine. I wonder if there are any light boots that I've found that I haven't found the shrines for. That might be interesting to check. Ooh, yeah, okay, that's what I was looking for. Probably Yiga Clan? Don't know what that is. Just a free chest of sorts. Maybe, maybe probably has like an old map attached to it. That's normally what these are for. if that was the thing. Might have been it for this, though. like this just so that I can get to the top without having to climb the whole way. I honestly, still, this late in the game, still forget that I have Ascend. Because <laughs> it's such a wacky ability to have. Oh dang. Eh, well, I'll take it for its base damage, basically. I need to attach something to these, though. Um. Cool. 
You know, I don't use the muddle bolt enough. Being able to uh, make enemies attack each other is pretty sick. I did not. Oh. I did not use my stamina well. the mine. I was like, what is that thing? What is that ominous structure off in the distance? <laughs> I forgot this master sword's like especially strong down here, isn't it? It's kind of sick. Silver enemies and then fighting them. Or everybody else is aggro to them too. It's kind of great. It's kind of awesome. There's actually a thing here. Couldn't even see that on the map. Oh, duh. See when you zoom in. I can't believe I got that. I already broke my master What the heck, man? to attach something to this. Oh, oh, freaking yeah. 50 boomerang. Yeah, I feel like the arc on these is so much better now. Could be wrong about that. 
Now these kind of act as like just prot depots for the construct now, which is kind of sick. <coughs> I can kind of make that work. So many people. Such a, such an inefficient way to use abilities. of sorts. And give me a platform though. Of some kind. That's fine, I should be able to make a simple boat that can make up for the parts. So that would cost that much? Oh, I guess it didn't make a whole shock trap, huh? Should have just dropped a shock trap for it. Uh. Gave me some light, though. This is ominous. This is scary. Honestly, if, yeah. If I, I don't know if I could have played. This part of this game if I was a kid. Wind Waker used to scare me when I was a kid. We can get attacked by giant Octorox in the middle of the ocean. Used to screw me up. <laughs> and that, you know, speaking of which, that makes sense. Uh, do I have anything else? I have the tunic for Wind Waker, right? I do, yeah, tunic of the wind. Oh, cap of the wind, I have the thing. Good. Huh? 
Wow, well, okay. I mean, now that we did that, I feel like... Okay, I'll get this. Sure, why not? Let's just, let's just make the most of the night. This one should be simple-ish. I always, you know, it always feels like it's gonna be simple, but everything down here takes forever because the terrain is so, so screwed up. This isn't that bad. Wait, how is this thing here exactly? <laughs> this just looks like a sheer cliff. Oh, it's one of the groves. Oh. more axes? I mean, there's only two more axes. Oh, I need to go here f to find Koga again anyways, right? So, let's actually head this way? This looks terrible. Why is this place, why does this place look like this? I don't think it's gonna last me long. I'll make it, sure. Whatever. I need my uh, friends. Are doing two months of uh, scary movies. And we all we all got we all spun a wheel, picked genres to select. We all sit down and watch them together. Um, and I got animated horror. I was pretty I was pretty excited for that. I, that was like the genre that I offered up to. Oh no, I no it wasn't the one that I offered up. My 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 friend picked that genre. I actually got like three of my genres offered up. <laughs> Um, on the wheel, technically, because uh, one of my other friends, she was like, Ooh, animated hole, that's a good idea, I picked that one. I'm like, okay, fine. Um, 
but then then oddly enough, ironically enough, I'm the one who gets it, uh, got to pick one for it. And I picked the wolf house because I was like, when else am I going to watch the wolf house? And I quite liked it. Um, I think we all agreed, though, that if anything, I mean, okay, and we were all like, okay, animation is amazing. The visuals are awesome. They're absurd. It must have been the most time-consuming thing ever. The movie's only an hour and like nine minutes, <laughs> for a very for reasons that become immediately obvious. Being two seconds in the movie, is my did did Micro just vanish? Well, fine. Game, screw you. <laughs> I don't want that car anyway. That car sucked. Oh no, it's right here. Take it back, I love you, Carl. Um, but yeah, like the whole thing, I mean, it's just so absurdly time consuming. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. That was so bad. Um it all takes place in like a couple rooms in this old rundown looking shack and they just paint over the whole thing. Frame by frame. They just like they paint and paint and paint until the whole thing the whole room becomes like the canvas that the story is painted over and animated over. And the character like fills the entire space and then they had to paint her moving across the walls to move across the room. Um, at one point they used this like clear, like a glass panel or, or like plastic panel, um, this like clear panel and they painted her on it and then physically and they like physically moved her across the room that way, which was super clever. Um, the amount of times they painted over the entire set over and over and over again, full white, full black, painted multiple colors to have characters move across stuff and they're not just painting the walls and things they were painting picture frames and furniture and the ground and it was crazy they had scenes where like they had like mannequins sort of set up but they would frame by frame fully build the mannequins in front of you um it was it was absurd it was crazy uh, only thing though is that like it started to feel pretty I feel like the repetition was probably part of it it once you start seeing what it's what it's doing it just does that the whole time the whole movie and it's a very time consuming process the kind of animation they were doing and because of it as impressive as it was it does kind of make the pa it made the pacing sort of uh, grind to a halt throughout the film. <laughs> Which was unfortunate. Because, um, you know, I, I, eventually it's like you see the same trick a million times. It's, it's impressive every time, but, but the process takes forever and the animation takes forever. So everything is moving very slow. And everything's very quiet and the music's very solemn and somber and the narrator is speaking very softly right in your ear and it's like oh my gosh i feel like i'm getting lulled to sleep with some asmr or i don't know um and it was eerie and it was creepy and it was some pretty awful imagery throughout the thing um there was sadly um it seemed like as far as the narrative for it went, there were there were things that were kind of lost on us because it seemed like there was a history there that we just sort of 
were missing. Um, involving like yeah. basically almost like a like German religious cult occupation of Chile. Um, sometime after I think World War II it was. Um, I don't know the full history of that, so I, that, that's kind of like what it was very much about. Um, which is unfortunate. Trousers of time. Nice. They were originally made by a people who made their home in the forest. Ah. Gosh, I love Ocarina of Time. Um. Okay. Well, that's all I want to do for that right now. Now we should talk to Joshua about how the heck to get down to the Hippo region, I guess. Or whatever this mine is. So Koga's weapon is down there, but he said that they found the Demon King. Maybe Koga will give me his information once. I swear, if <laughs> if I beat the snot out of Koga again, and he's like, "Fine, you want to know where the Demon King is? He's underneath Hyrule Castle." I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it because it's like, yeah, I. <laughs> that's where I. That's why I thought he was. <laughs> that's kind of where I figured he was. <laughs> I don't remember one of these being here. Huh. Well, I already did that quest. You know, I'm surprised, like, Paya didn't become an important character, really. Oh, you wait, hold on. You know what I didn't do? Zelda told all of them not to go into that floating bit in Kakariko Village. I almost forgot, but Zelda wasn't Zelda, so can I go over there and tell them, hey, that wasn't Zelda? Uh -huh. I can do what I want now? Listen to this. I love that Joshua calls Link the swordsman. Received new info about yeah. the depths. Stone statues at the bottom of the chasms. Oh. Statues led to directly beneath Zoa's domain. They discovered evidence of a civilization there. Dug a little deeper. Statues in the southwest led beneath Gerudo Town. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking there may be a connection between the surface and the depths. So I tried to investigate the chasms in every region to follow my hunch. I found a new chasm on the cliff face at Rito Village. Oh, at Rito Village. In the Hiba region. Next, I'm thinking of having them check whether it's possible to go directly under the village from that point. <laughs> the depths got me super motivated. You and me, swordsman. I know we can do this. Ah. All right, Jaja. That that was actually useful information. She said, "Chasm right outside of of this." Hmm. Dang. Actually, you know what quest line I would like to do? And in Heba Mine. Right, so all yeah, right, all the mines are underneath the villages, which makes sense. Maybe a chasm that leads straight to it. That's gotta be the it's gotta be the one Joshua just mentioned, right? Typhlo ruins. Visiting stables. I gotta be close to finishing this one. Okay, I'll I'll have to at least find all the stables and finish this quest. The side the side adventures are fun. The side adventures are kinda worth it. Side quests. It's, you know, it's a give and take. I like how I just have destroy Ganondorf now. It should just say kill Ganondorf. <laughs> Why are we beating around the bush? Um, okay. Now well, we've got a couple things we... I don't want to do look at and figure out. This thing's frozen. It's turning on battery.
Nice. Oh, still haven't been down here? Kinda curious about that, too. No, here we go. Like 124 shrines. That's pretty good. How many shrines are there in the game? There's no way we're getting through all those today. Okay, I gotta. There's, I. I gotta be able to talk to somebody. And be like, hey. It don't matter. Let me up there. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh yeah, they're all standing out here. That's disappointing. <laughs> oh. Mr. Link, thank you for stopping by even with the rain. Oh. Thinking about the floating ring ruin, yes. I am as well. It's been on our minds for some time. Mm. I'd like to suggest resuming the research, if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? Yeah, evil demon lady? <laughs> um, which means <laughs> that her not wanting us to go up there Probably means there's something really important up there. But how can this be true? Mm. Such an unbelievable tale, and yet... I trust you completely, Master Link. Must be as you say. It's hard to explain, the pr but the princess saw... Or the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. Mm -hmm. If she was an imposter the whole time, that would mean... The real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruin was... Because the Demon King saw it as a threat, isn't that right? Well, it means one thing, we should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. I'm glad I pieced that together myself, mm -hmm. yeah, I totally forgot. Your Luralin phrasing is coming through, Mr. Taro. You, you, must, really be, you must really be pleased. Oh, he's from, he's from Luralin Village? That's awesome. Mm. It's just... Hmm, well, there's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Oh, oh don't worry, gang. I can fly. <laughs> it's clear the interior of the ring is hollow. Sadly, it doesn't seem to be an entrance. The contents of the ring ruin are any indication. Should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai's script. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage those precious ruins. Oh. Is it raining now specifically as part of like a challenge of getting up there? Oh, this is a main quest. Mm. I can finally stop my research on the floating ring ruin. If I manage to make a new discovery, soon the day will come where everybody looks up to me, eyes filled with adoration. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> oh, is that... Is that... I forgot I was marking down how many times Link scared somebody by just standing behind them and listening. gotta be like it's gotta be like the 13th time busy I, but I suppose I can indulge a moment of idle chatter uh -huh. yeah you uh you do that dude it's great I'm gonna use my magic, ancient magic powers to uh, fly up there and do it myself.
they're all talking about is safety. Imagine being safe. How quaint. up here? I sort of assumed there'd be a chest or something in it. I'm heartbroken. Although, yeah, I mean, it's very small, huh? He didn't just... Did he? <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty cool. That can't be right. I forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. no. The interior of the floating ring ruin. Stone clap is so clearly visible. Ah. There'll be Zonai inscriptions on the, this one as well, just like in the other ring ruins. Taro, if you would. Uh. Decipher. Promise Zelda solemnly signed Mineru, Sage of Hide the Key, Southeast, and Trust Future. Wish defeat Demon King. That's all I can. Hide the Key, Southeast? There's some lettering. I can't figure out before Southeast, but Monero seems to be someone's name. No. Contact Monero, I don't believe... I do believe this is the first one of these slabs has put a name to the Sage, or to a Sage. <coughs> also mentioned Zelda and a Demon King are fascinating. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Crud. Okay, was I supposed to come here, have that slab deciphered, and then piece together that the final sage I was supposed to be looking for was in the southeast? Because southeast of here is the Farron region. With the big with the big thunderhead in the sky. Crud. <laughs> okay, so this isn't some major huge revelation. I already did this. Welp. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that part of the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yep. Yeah. It's a it's freaking dragon head. Oh, oh you're right. I know this stuff. This should be. This should read as Dragonland Southeast. Uh -huh. Has that proven useful? It seems my continued zone I language studies have paid off. <clears throat> oh no. I'm being upstaged. Uh. Remember, you serves there were dragon designs in those ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. Take Callop. You're the worst, Callop. You were the worst at the beginning, and you're the worst now. <laughs> oh. Pete's sake. Like when we put together the script on the stone slab and tran translate it, we definitely. We get definite mentions of Sage Monero, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. <laughs> Pete's sake, guys. Piece it together, guys. She isn't here. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, there's a Princess Zelda back there? <laughs> She's the Sage of Time? Hmm. Granted, Link could also tell people at this point. He knows everything. I think. When he gets those flashbacks, he, like, he's he's retaining that information. That's not just us as the audience, as, as, as players seeing into the past ourselves for some, like, I don't 
don't know. <laughs> it's so weird with the storytelling. They can't just tell like a, a normal story. <laughs> Establish a base in the poplar foothills. That's so funny. <laughs> I mean, I'll go pursue this. My assumption is they're just gonna say, yeah, there's a big... <sighs> Hold on, was I not supposed to stumble around the, the clouds in the sky? Is, oh, that, well, is pursuing this quest going to clear up that storm? That would be... That would be so funny. Just like that. Well, I'm sure the two will be fine. Also continue pursuing our research of the Ring Ruins. And as Villa's chief, making this an exciting place, of course. I have you to thank for all you have accomplished here, Master Link. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Sure thing, Pyro. So this is supposed to be the reveal about Minero. Oh, Minero, I mean. How unfortunate. <laughs> I, I... I forgot about the ring. I forgot about the big floating rock in the sky. <laughs> in a game filled with floating rocks in the sky. I... Uh, you know, you'll lose track of some of them. <laughs> It's still raining, jeez. <laughs> this little tent is all you guys got? Oh. What he got off to the ruins? Remember, he serves. He spoke of starting his investigation on Jokozu Lake. Go southeast, and you should find the zone of ruins he mentioned. Mm. Curious if the Dragon Land written, the Ring Ruin, will have more leads on the Demon King or Princess Zelda. Ordinarily, I'd be the first to decide in the field, uh. of course, but I'm worn out from setting up the base. Oh, you know. I'll need some time to recuperate and begin my own survey. Goodness me, is there anything that at all has slowed down Taro? No. Probably not. Gonna, are we gonna finally get to do something with the lightning rod sticking out of these statues? <clears throat> oh, whoa. I don't remember that being open. Maybe it was. So the upheaval has spread to the Zonai ruins. See the pillar shaped ruin in the front of this tent? Should be artifacts of some kind around here, an anomaly. There's more of the bubble at the base of the pillar open. Feeling a way inside, a new discovery. Shall I be going inside and investigate shortly? Join me as soon as you can. Yo, yo! My guy? You came after all. Figured you would after you made that breakthrough at the Ring Ruins. Listen to this, I've already got a whop of discovery on my hook here. You know, 
him being from Lowland Village is the fishing village, um, and making all these fishing puns makes me wearing the Wind Waker outfit just fit a little bit more. <laughs> so an I mural, complete with intact text, style is unmistakable. Nothing short of miraculous that it's still here and basically intact. I think of it might be scribable to the Zonai's advanced technology. I had a fair bit of knowledge of the script, so I just had to try deciphering it. Something, some of it still eludes me. Aww. It's a poem, some kind of code. Ooh. Where the electric garb hidden that long necked dragon's long wide mouthed forest serpent. You can make a forest serpent and dragons mm -hmm. there. To me, it calls to mind the tall pillars around the ruins, designed to look like dragons. Forest serpent, though, I haven't seen any designs like the lake, right? Well, I mean the river, right? Maybe the forest serpent bit does remind me of a song that compared the Jokozu River to a forest dragon? Anyways, what is this code? I'll keep reading. Mm. <clears throat> oh, next, offer a zone I charge to the altar at its tail. Oh? In the world to zone I charge. Oh. Should have mentioned this. Found one more zone I relic at the back of these ruins. Judging from the shape, I think there's something inside. I can't get it opened. Oh. Can't crack the code. Can't get the box open. This just isn't my day. <laughs> How's your boss? Stormy weather showed. Oh! There's a stormy weather one too? Oh, that's cool. Oh, this one looks great. Used in ancient rituals and made conductive with material, this item produces an electricity during thunderstorms. That's sick. Mm -hmm. It is looking on your face like the big news you can't wait to share. <laughs> Better way to open the relic. How in high world did you. Wait, no, that's not important right now. No, you, I mean, if you want me to tell you, I should probably tell you because <laughs> Link going around solving all this stuff and then nobody understanding how is kind of, it's kind of funny. Uh. Oh no, he's hot. Oh. Taro, look away, I'm too attractive. <laughs> Oh, you're right, it is a thing in the mural. So now I have to. Oh, and it's offering a zone I chose. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh. Aww. Bobby was talking about creating some way that make, to make searching for things simple, though. Oh, yeah, I got his thing. <laughs> Wait, so this was this was going to direct me over to Robbie back in Akala, right? Jeez. True. I mean, I think, yeah, that is going to make it easier. Um, how do you set it again? Disconnected by the server for no reason. Oh well. It belongs to the one who finds it, so that's yours. Now then, we still need to figure out the rest of the code on this relief. Oh.
Give me the code. Oh. Mm. Richard Gobe hidden at long necked dragons along the wide mouthed forest serpent. Oh, along the wide mouthed forest for for serpent. Long necked dragons. Okay. Oh. Alright. <laughs> I like how I'm trying to help him solve these riddles. Meanwhile, I have like a giant robot that's supposed to be at the end of this quest line with me already. <laughs> Long necked dragons? Oh. Oh. Okay. I understand. So wherever the ones with the long necks in particular are. Let me have the sensor going. I understand. I pieced it together. I've cracked. I've cracked the code. <laughs> oh, that is a blade. There we go. Am I just gonna get the full stormy weather set? That's kind of sick. Look at Chelsea's pants. Oh, I'm barefoot now. Oh, it actually sounds different when I'm barefoot. What a cra what a crazy detail. So many freaking lizards. Here we go. <laughs> I get I get they want you to use a blade, but a blunt weapon would crack those. Surely. Finally. I look pretty silly. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, and it's starting to get stormy right now. 
I see what you're doing, Dan. Also, oh, these guys are here. freaking way.